17-year-old Taylor Wilson's physicist mentor can keep up with Taylor walking down a hallway, but not always in a conversation. I mean, he's always at least two steps ahead of me. <laughs> big steps. And I saw these big detectors that are called Sherinkoff detectors. And I basically applied these, the Sherinkoff technique to neutron detection, which had never been done before. If you're not exactly sure what Taylor just said, we're not either. What matters, though, is that breakthrough we just mentioned led to this, the Farnsworth Fuser. Here's how he describes it to people like you and me who may not have always aced our science exams. I basically tell them I have a mini sun down here. I'm creating stars on a regular basis, which is not a self-sustaining process like the sun is, but it's the same nuclear process. But it's not just that this is a sophisticated piece of equipment. It's that this one day could help to fight terrorism. And I'm looking, you know, in a, in a less than five year time frame to have these deployed at a lot of ports. This fuser can detect nuclear, chemical and biological weapons. And the Department of Homeland Security wants to use Taylor's model, which when developed, could scan millions of cargo containers quickly at U.S. ports. And he says that would save the country millions. Quite the feat for a 17 year old. Some people think so, yes. But after all, this is a kid who breathes physics. You have dreams about nuclear science? I do indeed. His mentor has been a physics professor for decades. I can tell you, mm -hmm. he's one of a kind. President Obama will get to see that on Tuesday. That'll be something I take to show the president. From the UNR campus, I'm Andrew Del Greco, News 4.